Good morning from Splitters Farm. We're going to show you today how to repurpose some old gum boots. Um, you probably think that some of these don't look that that old, but uh, I assure you they they are. So we're going to show you today how to plant some gum boot flowers. I've got my trusty sidekick Shadow here, lazing around on the ground. Hey Shadow. Shadow, come here. Say hey everyone. Say hey. Good boy. And uh, yeah, we just, uh, while we were getting ready actually, we found a beautiful tree frog. I'm just gonna wash my hands before I handle him. Um, I'll just wet my hands, wash all the oils. You should never handle frogs unless you've got clean hands, clean wet hands. Otherwise the acids in your skin can, um, can harm them. So I'm just gonna show you, we were just setting up. Oh, come here. So these, these flowers bring all sorts of different animals to our garden. This little guy, we've only noticed this morning. But if my cameraman zooms out, he'll also show you, uh, we've shown you the traditional European bees, but these bees here, you'll see these tiny little, almost like a fly. These are our native bees and they don't sting. And they are pollinating these flowers and everything else around here as well. So they'll have hives in the bush somewhere. As I said, we'll make some more for our beautiful little farm friends. There you go. Okay, so we'll get started. So we're gonna upcycle some boots. These are the ones I've chosen. I've got a big pair and a little pair. Some potting mix here. Gotta be careful when using potting mix not to handle it with your hands unless you've got gloves on. And don't breathe it in. When you open that bag, you can get all sorts of crazy infections. So we're just gonna fill that boot up. And as, as I go, I'm just gonna tap it down. I hope everyone's enjoying homeschooling and everything. I know the system crashed yesterday, which I thought it was all me, but I was kind of reassured to know that it wasn't. As I put that soil in right to the top, you'll notice it's starting to stand up that boot as I had a leg in it. Okay, we're getting close to the top now. Off before we put our marigold in. So we just pinch the bottom of the pot there and then very gently pull that out and pop him in the top there. And then what we're gonna do is just put the soil around that plant. I just think this is an excellent way to repurpose old boots that you'd normally throw in the bin. So they'd normally, but you could use any type of shoe really. You can use um, old pots and pans from the kitchen that you're gonna throw out or anything really. Just with some flowers, they do like to have a bit of drainage. I find with these ones, they don't need the drainage as much because they're in the sun all day. So it's not too essential. So that's our beautiful little gumboot pot. And he should stand up nice and tall there. And all we do then is every day, just give him a little bit of water. And it's that water that's bringing in our frogs. And it's the flowers that are bringing in those beautiful native bees. So we're gonna plant some more of these. These ones should be a little bit quicker. These are Maverick's old boots, rainbow boots. So look, if you are at home and looking for things to do, oh no, the boot fell over. <laughs> I don't think I filled it up as up enough. We'll just work all that soil down to the bottom. There we go. Stay. Um, yeah, find little projects like this you can do with the kids. Uh, it's, it's really important to teach them that they can repurpose things. And by planting flowers and watching all these amazing animals come in, it's a really good little project. There we go. Let me just fill that up too. There we go. We 
push that nice and firm down. And there's our beautiful little potted flowers. Another thing I'm going to show you quickly, um, if you've got some seeds, so these are pack choy seeds and we're going to reuse a, um, I've got heaps of these egg cartons, we're just going to cut the, I'm just going to cut that off and cut this off. So if you don't have seed containers, the plastic ones, you don't need them. All we're going to use is this little egg carton, I'm just going to fill that with soil soil in each one of those. one of those little segments and push it down. There we go. Just tiny little seeds. I don't know if you can see those. They're tiny little things. And that will grow into a nice little Chinese pak choy. Something you can use in a stir fry. I'm just going to place those in there. I'll put another little tiny bit of soil over the top. And what you do is with a spray bottle, you water those. So you water those with a nice little spray bottle, like a mist. Make sure they're nice and wet. And when you start to see the little seedlings come up, all you're going to do is when you put them in the garden is cut these little segments and pop them straight in the ground. So you don't let plant out and you risk damaging the plant. But if you have an egg carton, you can just chop these little segments off and put that whole section in the ground. That's just a little tip. But yeah, thank you very much for, for joining us today. We will hopefully see some animals tomorrow. I'm really hoping that we have some babies on the ground. But our guinea fowl are doing really well in their little enclosure. And, uh, and yeah, everything's lovely and nice and safe and healthy today. So yeah, we hope you're enjoying your homeschooling. Um, good luck to your mums and dads out there who are persevering like we are with it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m.